Hey guys, my name is Risham Narayan. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can download and install PyCharm IDE on your Ubuntu 20.04 operating system. And you can also follow this tutorial if you are using Linux Mint or any other Ubuntu or Debian derivative. So let's get started with this video. Uh, so first of all, we will go to the browser. So here I am going to Firefox browser and here in the search bar, you need to type PyCharm download. So let's type. And here the first link which will appear here uh, will be from jetbrains.com. Uh, one more thing, uh, although we can install PyCharm from the software center here, but there it is available as a snap package and snaps are usually slow on a low resource machine. So if you have good resources, you can consider installing a snap, but I will install it from the tar, which we get from this website. So here I'm on the website of PyCharm download and here there are two versions available. Uh, one is community and uh, one is professional. So in this video, we'll be downloading a community edition and you need to select Linux here, although it is already selected. So click on this download option to begin your download and it will begin your download in a few seconds. So here it is asking. So I will cancel this prompt because I have already downloaded this file so I will cancel it and if you are using Chrome it will automatically get started here in the bottom so I am going to close this browser now and I will go ahead with the installation of PyCharm so for that I am going to my file explorer and then here I have downloaded the file in my downloads here in the downloads I have this PyCharm community tarball so we need to extract this right click on it and click on extract here and the extraction process will begin here it may take some time and it is completed so then you need to click on this folder which is extracted and inside this we are interested in this bin folder and inside bin we are interested in this file which is pycharm.sh so we need to execute this file in terminal so for that simply I will open my terminal and I will navigate to this directory so let me enlarge the font here and I will cd to my downloads and then further I will cd to the pycharm directory and then after that I will cd to the bin directory and here we need to execute that sh file this this file we need to execute so you need to type dot forward slash pycharm dot sh and just press enter and the installation will begin so this will ask this is I am getting this because I have already installed PyCharm on my this machine before this video but you will not get this prompt so I am going to click on do not import settings and then here you just need to select the theme I am selecting dark theme you can select of your choice and I will click on next Next year, if you want to launch some projects with the, the terminal, you can check this box. It will not have any demerits. You can check this. And next, we can see plugins. So I don't want any plugins at this time. Uh, but however, you can later get these plugins from the settings if you want them anyway. So I will click on start using PyCharm. And type your pseudo password and the PyCharm will start in front of you so as you will be able to see that uh, here you will be not able to see that there is no PyCharm desktop launcher icon is available in your applications so to create a, a desk, desktop entry you need to click on configure 
and then you need to click on create desktop entry so if you want to create uh, this entry for all the users on the machine you can check this otherwise not so i'll click on ok and it is saying that desktop entry created so you can check your applications menu and you will find pycharm community edition here so now we can proceed further click on new project and the default directory where the project will be created is this one so i am not changing this for now but you can change uh, to wherever you want and next thing is to configure the interpreter so uh, it will configure a virtual environment for you automatically but uh, uh, I am going to show you that how you can create a virtual environment or you can use the system interpreter which comes with all machines. So to use the system interpreter you need to click on these three dots and then this system interpreter and then here you can select this you, uh, python interpreter which is inside slash usr slash bin and then slash python 3.8. You can select this for doing normal python programs but uh, we can also create a python virtual environment for this so i will click on existing interpreter oh i have not selected so let me select for now i am selecting this one and i will click on create For the first time it takes some time to load and it will give you some tips here you can simply click on close here and uh, also it has created a launchers uh, main.py welcome script or something like that only so here we can print this code so i don't want to execute this long also there is a setting in PyCharm which is very useful uh, which may be very useful for you you need to go to the settings here or you can press the shortcut control plus alt plus s and then here you need to go to the editor and then general and then you need to check this option which says that change font size with control plus mouse wheel and then you need to click apply and then click on ok and when you will scroll your mouse while pressing control it will enlarge so it is a very nice feature so now we will execute a text test program so i will write the famous hello world program and here after that uh, let's print some more things and I will run this file so we are getting the desired output here uh, and one more thing if you want to use this with virtual environments you can click on terminal and create a virtual environment for you if you don't know how to create a virtual environment you can see my video where I have taught how to create you will get a link to that video here on the top so for that type python minus m vnv and then the name of your virtual environment so let's say i'm naming it as sample and press it. so it is giving some error oh i need to type python 3 here and then i need to press enter and it will create a virtual environment for me So the virtual environment has been created this one so to activate this environment uh, for the terminal you can use source sample bin and activate and the virtual environment will be activated you will get the name of your virtual environment here and to deactivate you can simply type deactivate here Uh, type correct spellings not like me and it will be deactivated to use this with your 
project you can go to file and then you can go to settings and here then you can go to the project and then you can click this option python interpreter and then here you can configure it according to you so click on this settings icon add and you need to go to virtual environment existing so it has already detected my virtual environment which i just created so as you can see the i created a sample named virtual environment and it has detected that so i will click on ok and i will click on apply i will click on ok so our environment has been changed now and when you will run it will use the python which is inside your virtual environment this path so that's all for this video. i hope you like this video uh, if you love my videos you can consider subscribing to my channel and till then bye bye